Colleton County has largely been uh, forgotten about, but now they are going to be the focus of this slow moving event. We want to uh, now bring in uh, from Colleton County, uh, Megan, and, and Megan, tell us the overall um, condition of Colleton County because I know you all have seen plenty of flooding yourselves. Um, we have flooding mainly along the Edisto River, but also there's a lot at Edisto Beach. We have damage crews there. But right now um, we have fire rescue, sheriff's office, and animal control personnel going around checking houses and assisting with evacuations. We have boats in the water helping people out of their homes. Um, it's just a lot going on, but everybody's working diligently to help. Again, this is uh, Megan Chaplin with Colleton County. Uh, she's the Director of Administrative Services. And, and Megan, tell us about the strain on the resources down there because uh, there are so many areas across our state that are stretched so thin. Right. Everybody has just been putting in a lot of extra hours. Um, like I said, even our animal control officers are out helping the sheriff's office and fire rescue with evacuations. What, Megan, what is the biggest concern right now? Um, just the flooding along the Edisto River, um, around Givens Ferry, that area, it's just it's already four feet above flood stage and it's supposed to increase two or three more feet by the end of the week. Is it, is it still a voluntary evacuation? It is, but we're going around knocking on doors and um, a lot of people have already left. There's a Red Cross shelter open in Cottageville at um, Jericho United Methodist Church and um, that's 24-7 um, shelter so people can go there and most people are cooperating and evacuating. Do you anticipate opening more shelters? Um, I'm not sure that has been discussed yet. Um, I think it's a pretty large shelter and it's close to the area where the flooding is occurring. So, What, what is anticipated as far as how, how, how far from the banks of the Edisto uh, are we talking about that's needing to be evacuated? Um, a quarter mile. So it's a pretty significant distance. Do you have any idea how many homes are going to be impacted as far as the, the evacuations are concerned? I do not. Okay, Megan Not Chaplin sure uh, with, with Colleton County. Uh, thoughts and prayers for you all down there as uh, you prepare for what may be still the worst to come as uh, we continue through uh, this process. Mm -hmm. And this is the next step in this event that is uh, going to stretch beyond a week now um, as we get toward all of these rivers really mm -hmm. by the end of the week into the next week even. And